Hey everyone, welcome back to the programming fields. I am Umesh Rana and today we are diving into Laravel 12, the latest and greatest update to Laravel framework. Laravel 12 brings a ton of new features, improvements and even some deprecations. This video will give you a quick but complete overview so that you will know exactly what is new in Laravel 12. But this is just the beginning. In the coming weeks, I will be making detailed video on each of these features. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss them. Alright, let's jump right into it. So here is the outline of the today's video that we are going to cover in the terms of Laravel 12 new features and improvements along with the deprecations. Firstly, we will start with the new starter kits and then we will see the query builder enhancements. Also, we will check out the AI powered debugging assistant. Further, we will move on to the asynchronous caching for faster performance. And then we will check out improved job and queue management. Also, we will see the security improvements in the terms of validation. Then we will be move on to the front end and dev tools upgrades. And further, we will check out the API developments and deprecations. Alright, so let's jump into starter kits. First up, Laravel 12 introduces brand new starter kits for React, Vue and Livewire. These kits come pre-configured with authentication, TypeScript, SideCN UI and Inertia 2 support and these make front-end development even smoother. For those who are using Livewire, the integration is now more seamless than ever. And if you are a fan of modern UI, the SideCN UI components are now included by default. Next we will jump to the query builder enhancements. Laravel 12 makes working with database queries even easier with the introduction of the nested where function. This allows you to write complex queries in a cleaner and more readable way. For example, if you will check out this snippet, before Laravel 12, when we had to use multiple where condition along with this query, we had to write in this way. But after introducing nested where function in Laravel 12, the query become more clean by using nested where function. Okay. Next we will check out the AI powered debugging assistant. So one of the coolest features in Laravel 12 is the AI powered debugging assistant. This tool provides real time suggestions when debugging any code. And this make it easier to identify and fix issues directly within your development environment itself. Now instead of relying on manual debugging methods just like dump and die or dump, Laravel 12's new debug method provides real time insights and actionable suggestions. So you can use this debug function in this way. We will see this in the practical in the upcoming videos. Now we will jump to the asynchronous caching for faster performance. So caching operations in Laravel 12 are now asynchronous. This means your app will retrieve and store cache data much faster and this will improve overall performance of the application. This is especially useful in high traffic applications where every milliseconds count. So before Laravel 12, we had to write cache colon colon get function in order to retrieve the cache data. But in Laravel 12, we can use async get function in order to fetch the cache data asynchronously. So this will enhance the performance. Okay. Next, we will talk about improved job and queue management. So managing queued jobs is now even more powerful in Laravel 12. This introduces dynamic prioritization, delayed job retries and better failure handling. So if you are using queues extensively, you are going to love this update. Regarding the queue management, I will make a separate video in this playlist. So this is just an overview. Next, we will talk about the security upgrades in Laravel 12. So Laravel 12 makes your application even more secure with enhanced validation and encryption technique. This introduced secure validate function. So this is a new validation method for a stricter input check. Also for a stronger password hashing, this will use bcrypt and argon2. So security is a top priority in Laravel and these changes make Laravel even more robust. Next, we will talk about front-end and dev tool upgrades. Laravel 12 modernizes front-end development with Wheat, Tailwind CSS and an improved scaffolding system. 
Now you can use the new frontend installed command to set up your frontend effortlessly. With these changes, Laravel is keeping up with the latest frontend development trends. And this automatically sets up Tailwind CSS, Vite, and your chosen JavaScript framework. Further, we will talk about the API development enhancements. Laravel 12 makes API development more efficient with better versioning, GraphQL support, and improved rate limiting. Also, the defining version API route is now easier in Laravel 12, and this ensures backward compatibility and a cleaner structure of the route. So if you take a look to this example, this groups all API endpoints under version 1, and this makes it easier to manage future versions. Okay, so before Laravel 12, we had to prefix the version before the API endpoint. Now in Laravel 12, this has introduced API version function in which we can pass the version number of the API. So this will create a group of these routes for this API version. Also this supports the inbuilt GraphQL. So Laravel 12 now supports GraphQL out of the box and this letting you fetch exactly the data you need in a single request. So if you will take a look to this query, here this will fetch the user data belonging to ID 1 based on the GraphQL. Okay. So currently we are fetching name, email of the user and the posts belonging to this user ID 1 having title and content. Next we will talk about the improved API rate limiting. So Laravel 12's new rate limiting system allows more control and this adjust limits per user role or endpoint. So this is the syntax of defining throttling in the API. Here the authenticated users can make only 60 requests per minute to this profile endpoint. And these provide more control over API structure and also the GraphQL enables faster and this made efficient data fetching. And the flexible rate limiting improves security and performance. Now we will talk about the deprecations and breaking changes in Laravel 12. Like every major release, Laravel 12 also removes some outdated features and here is what you need to watch out for. So firstly, the soft delete restore function has been removed from the global scope. And if you were relying on soft delete restore method inside global scopes, you will need to update your code. So Laravel 12 advises caution when using named arguments as function signatures might change in future updates. And also this needs PHP 8.2 or its later version. So you'll have to make sure your server is running at least PHP 8.2 before upgrading to Laravel 12. Now we will talk about how to upgrade to Laravel 12. So if you are planning to upgrade your project, here is what you need to do. In the step 1, you will have to check the system requirements. Then in the next step, you have to update your composer.json file to require Laravel 12. And further, you will have to run the composer update to update the dependencies. And lastly, you have to review and test your applications for any breaking changes. So always test your application in a staging environment before pushing it to the production. So that's a quick overview of everything new in Laravel 12. We covered new starter kits, AI powered debugging, query builder updates, security enhancements and front-end tools. Also we checked out deprecations and how to upgrade to Laravel 12. But this is just the beginning. I will be making detailed video on each of these features. So if you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. And what features are you most excited about? You can just drop a comment below and let me know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy coding.